Hey guys, so of course you can also go ahead and download Angry Birds Space for your iPod Touch. I have my fourth generation over here. I don't think I'm going to try it on my uh, third generation because it's dead or it's lying somewhere. I have no idea, but should work I suppose. And we get these annoying game center. And I should say that I've jailbroken this device, so it sucks. <laughs> you can't even tap. Okay, let's see. Okay. I don't have anything else open in the background as well. Something I should say. Phone tilt. Okay, so we have to play it like this. Hello. I want to play it like this. I have my home button on this side. Okay, whatever. This is the game. Same as in the, on, on the iPhone 4S. So we have over here. Oh, still has some blood. On that device, okay. We need to clean that off. This must be the coolest as well, the, the best Angry Birds game a well at the moment. It's because it's in space and you you play like it in space because it has gravity and stuff. So of course no lag or anything, you can play just like normal birds. It's because it's a small little game, you don't do that much. And it's quite fun, I have to say, as you can see over there. It's quite hard to get out of that bubble as well. Let's play the next level. Let's see here. They get them all. This is basically how the game is. I think there's like 60 levels. You can find secret levels as well. And uh, all those things. But now I need to charge my little iPod. And I'm going to play this game a little, a little bit more. But as you can see how slow this thing is. I really need to like un jailbreak it. Just because immediately when, once you start to jailbreak or jailbreak an iDevice, it gets, it, it, I mean, it becomes extremely slow. <laughs> Just look at this. <laughs> okay, whatever. It's an iOS device. What should I say? I'm not that of an iOS fanboy anymore since I started to use other products. But uh, yeah, some people love them. Bye-bye.